This is a new Hernito portable CD player and it has a lot of features that you're not going to find on an older portable like this one. I'll talk about those features and do a full review of this Hernito CD player that's coming up on Thrifty AV. The folks at Hernito sent Thrifty AV this portable CD player for review and I'll do a full review. But wait, this is out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. The box for the Hernito portable CD player is pretty plain. There's a picture of the item here. Some compliance logos. The sticker on the side shows two different models available, probably two different colors. Let's get into this box. There is some foam protection here. Warranty 18 months, quick start guide, and a user manual entirely in English. Comes with a set of earbuds, power cable, USB, and a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable for auxiliary inputs on other devices. And here is the unit itself. There are eight buttons on the front of the Hernito, uh, chapter backwards, chapter forwards, and these will also scan backwards and forwards if you hold them down. Play, pause, ooh, and when I hit play, it lit up the backlit LCD here. Right now it says no D, which I'm sure means no disc, and then there's the battery indicator. There's the stop button. Where I live, TX means Texas, but on this device it means transmitter, as in FM transmitter. Uh, you can turn it off or you can turn it on, and there are four frequencies that you can pick from. 88.1, 88.5, 99.1, and 99.5. You want to pick a radio frequency that is not used in your area. I will have to insert a disc to mess with EQ program and mode. On the bottom there is a barrel jack input for DC input 5 volts. And when I plug the barrel jack in, it's USB on the other side, I get a light here under charge. There's the headphone jack. This would also be used as your aux output. This is the eject. You slide it to open. The volume is a digital volume control. You can either toggle it repeatedly to increase volume or just hold it up and it'll quickly increase volume. Same with decrease volume. And here is a switch between off, on, and hold. What hold will do is it'll keep all your settings while it is on. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is I can see my CD in here. It's pretty nice looking. I, I like the fact that I can see it playing here. Okay, right now EQ is off. There's bass boost, pop, jazz, and rock, and then classic, and then it goes back to off. The program button will let you program up to 30 tracks in the order that you want to hear them. That's not a feature I'm going to mess with very much, but it's kind of neat that it has it. And then this mode button over here lets you switch between repeating one track, repeating all the tracks on the CD, shuffling the CD, or playing the first 10 seconds of each track on the CD. I'm going to leave mode off. Now you might notice that the CD is slowing down here. It stopped spinning. It is still playing this track. Uh, it's just that the skip protection has a full memory right now. So there's no need to spin this disc and fill up more uh, data until that memory runs low. Now this is going to hold 60 seconds of uh, stored audio from a CD or 120 seconds of stored audio from an MP3 file and you just saw it spin back up again, it is loading more data into the internal memory on this device. 
older portable CD players usually relied on AA batteries, which are wasteful and expensive. The Hernito uses a 2000 milliamp hour lithium ion. It's a built in battery that provides what they say is 20 hours of listening. That's a lot of listening between charges. All right, the earbuds that came with it are the type that rest inside of your ear. Um, they do sound pretty good. They get louder than I'm comfortable with. Right now, I can't even hear my own voice because they're so loud. Now, peak volume was loud, but it was also a little bit distorted. So I wouldn't recommend listening to this at the peak volume level. I've switched out the earbuds that come with the Hernito with my favorite pair of headphones. These are AKG K240DFs. These things are hard to push. The Hernito's pushing it just fine. So there is enough amplification in this device for a good quality set of headphones. For my next test, I changed my setup around a little bit. Instead of playing a regular CD, this is a variable bitrate MP3 CD that I burned on my Windows machine. It is the Bakerton Group. Hopefully I won't get a copyright strike for that. I have the volume turned down pretty low. Now on the Hernito, the volume goes all the way up to 30. But I am getting a little bit of distortion at that, so I find that it sounds best at about 25 with the portable speaker turned up slightly. All right, this song is coming to a close. And there is one issue with this uh, player. There is a delay between tracks. That was about two seconds between track one and track two. Now the load time issue is only with MP3 discs. When playing back regular CDs, not MP3s, it does flow seamlessly from one track to the next. All right, going through the EQ settings when a disc is in there, uh, bass boost, I could definitely hear a bass boost. Pop has um, more clarity in the mid highs. Jazz is muffled sounding to me. Rock definitely has a high end boost. And classic sounds very similar to off. I can't hear much of a difference between those two. Now one interesting thing about this device is that if I turn it off, completely shut it down, and then turn it back on. Okay, now it's in the process of loading the MP3 back up. And it loaded right back where I left off. Now that won't happen if you hit the stop button. If you hit the stop button and then start over, it's going to start with track one again. For my next test, I got out this old jam box and I turned on the FM transmitter. Right now it's transmitting at 88.1. Now if I go change frequencies to 88.5. And I'm going to change frequencies to 99.1. And finally, 99.5. What I'm doing with this jam box here, you can use any radio, including your car radio, to do the same thing. And this is transmitting in stereo. If I do have any nitpicks about the Hernito, it's the lack of any type of... Uh, belt clip or strap or any way to attach this to myself. Uh, basically I have to find a pocket that's this big, maybe in some cargo shorts, in order to uh, port this around if I don't want to carry it. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember, stay thrifty everyone.